If it's Monday, you know it's Business Monday. Welcome to another exciting show of Business Monday. We are glad that you could be able to tune in to AIC Riduta. And uh, thank you for those who have been uh, giving us your comments and feedback. We appreciate that you've been keeping tuned. So today we have another exciting show. Our guest today is going to explain and uh, is going to narrate to us his business journey. And we are glad that you are going to be following us and taking some business tips. Karibu sana Baba Jambi. Uh, first tell us your full name. Uh, my full name is Charles Mwangi Kamau. Charles Mwangi Kamau. Yes. Tueleze Baba Njabi, wewe ni mzaliwa wa wapi and probably tell us a brief, a brief history of your young life. Uh, mimi ni mzaliwa wa Moranga, uh, that's uh, Moranga Kangema. Uh, Kangema then uh, Kijiji naitua Kanyanyaine, that's the year 1959, whereby our parents uh, shifted uh, after war with Maumau to Kawangware, that's back 1962. Now, since then, uh, I joined, uh, I came in Kawangware, then I joined a primary school in Kawangware Primary School. Uh, then I went up to Standard 8. From Standard 8, I went to secondary school at a school in uh, Vika. And then I finished up to Form 4. Then from there, that's when I, I went. Uh, for a course. Actually, the course I did is a very simple course, which people might take it easy, because I decided actually, my father wanted me to go for, a, for a, to be a technician, radio and TV technician, but I denied. I said no. I told my father that I want to become a driver. And actually, I became a driver. And uh, from being a driver, I remember I started uh, driving Matatu, First of all, I was, a, I was a Makanga to start off. Then immediately I became a driver, just here in Kawangware. And uh, I drove out for two years, whereby later I was employed as a driver in a bank, one of the biggest bank we have here. I won't mention it right now, but it's one of the biggest bank. So I was employed, and uh, after being employed, I worked for 17 years in the bank. And uh, actually, uh, there was a, a immediate if you could have been employed and you, you finished three years be, without being, a, uh, you must, there was a mandatory that you must be given a promotion. So it happened that I, was not, I wasn't given promotion for the first three years. The second three years I wasn't being promoted. I realized that uh, I should also do a promotion over myself. So I decided that uh, I, I set up a business. So I decided with, uh, I was one of the people who started Mitumba in Kawangware. Uh, what made me to start doing business is just as I said that I wasn't promoted. And uh, actually people were coming, new ones, I was training them. They t later on they were promoted and I was left behind. So I decided me to, sell, to start my own business, whereby I started selling Mitumba in Kawangware. I remember very well that that time there were no people who were selling Mitumba because I used to sell here at Kawangware 46. Then I, I, used, I, I used to have a, a, a store in Kenyatta Market, whereby I was selecting clothes. So the best clothes, actually, I was taking in Kenyatta Market. Huh? Then the, 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 the raw quality, I, was, I had another store in Mwarero, uh, in, uh, in uh, Rainsaba, Kibira. So what was I doing? All good clothes. Huh? I was uh, taking, uh, for example, shirts and trousers, the smartest shirts and trousers, I was taking them to the bank. I started business at the bank mm -hmm. because I realized this, we have got clerks there, we have got managers there. So what I was doing, I was just uh, taking them good shirts, nice shirts, and that's why I started my business here, okay, business of, uh, of uh, Mutumba. Immediately when I, fin when I was in the bank, I realized that uh, I'm doing well than being, uh, okay, by being employed. But what I did also was that I decided to <coughs> to promote my business more than what I was doing. How did the Mutumba Isaza graduate to now your barber shop? What I did is that uh, Mutumba, okay, I realized it was doing uh, quite good. But at the same time also, 
since I, I realized business doing, I decided to add another business okay. altogether. Mm -hmm. Because uh, uh, so that if I get small here, another thing small here, another thing small here. And in, in addition, after the, after the, after the barber shop, I also opened a video show. I was the first also to open a video show. Wait, wait. <laughs> so, Sasa, uh, now you are employed. Let's, uh, our viewers, uh, let's get this straight. So you're employed in the bank. Mm -hmm. In the bank, you decide to open a mutumba shop. Still in the bank, uh, you get some clientele for the mutumba who you are selling to the mutumba, the good mutumbas. And then, still in the bank, you have opened a barber shop. And now you've graduated to another business. Exactly. I was assisting, I was being assisted by my wife, okay. who actually have come up with me for a long journey with her. So she was the one who was taking care of the barber shop and the second-hand clothes, whereby me was still in the bank. Mm -hmm. So immediately after the barber shop, uh, I decided also to do something more, more than that. You see, the more you start businesses, the more you, you want to earn more. That's the secret of business. What I realized is that uh, you can ask me where did I started uh, with my money, getting money. What I did when I was in the bank, uh, they came up with an idea of uh, buying uh, properties for staffs. Mm -hmm. So immediately me, I used to, okay, properties they were buying was uh, houses to, to the staffs. So what I did, I, had already, I was already owning a house. But uh, what, uh, the lucky thing I had is that uh, you must buy that shop from uh, also a property from somebody who is not within the bank or not somebody who is not known. Mm -hmm. So what I did, uh, I transferred my, my, my house to my wife since actually I hadn't registered her in, as a wife in, in my place. Mm -hmm. So what I did is that after registering her, I, 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 I bought my own house through changing the title deed to her name. Mm -hmm. So they were, that's when I, I, I started getting a lot of money. Mm -hmm. So immediately, that money I utilized, I bought a matatu, which was very, very Kawangware root also. Mm -hmm. And it's a brand new one. Uh, from there, actually, I've been doing, that's why I'm telling you I'm building so many businesses. I decided also to, 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 to do what? Okay, I've been, I told you about the, the, the video show. Yes. So from there, uh, it took time, it took time since I decided now since uh, I can see that uh, my life, I'm, I'm blessed with the business, I should resign working at the bank. That's when actually I decided to resign at the bank at a very tender age of uh, that eight years. I can remember even my director was telling me, where are you going with that age? How can you retire with that age? I told him, no, I know where I'm going. So I decided to leave, uh, to retire. I was given my, my, my money of retirement. I decided to open um, uh, a, a bar. A bar. Uh, it was the biggest bar in Kawangwari constituency. Okay, so so by this time, how many businesses you had? You had a, a barber shop. You had meat, still Mitumba. Mm -hmm. You had uh, what else was it? Uh, I had a Mitumba, uh -huh. uh, barber shop, and shop. video show. Video show. But what happened after I opened? I opened uh, the, 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 the the bar. Uh, where I was also sh showing the video, you know, it was a hall. Yes. So I could, I could have uh, just finished with the video hall, then I started a bar. Okay. I started a very small bar, but it ended up to be the biggest bar. A, history, a historic bar. It was known as Heroes, Heroes. Bar and Restaurant. Mm -hmm. And it was the biggest in the great constituency. Where was the, where was the bar? The bar was at Kawangware 46. And uh, as, I, as I was telling you, it was a big bar because I used to have uh, lodges, I used to have a uh, hotel. So how, how uh, w which year is this and how much did it take you for you to start the bar? Uh, the year w when I started the bar was the year 1989. Mm -hmm. That's when. 1989, that's when you started the bar mm -hmm. in Kawangware called Heroes. Yes, yeah. how, much, how much did it take you to start the bar? Uh, for that time. I remember it was around 500,000. Okay. Hmm. So you could, at this time all your businesses and now your, the money that you had given from the bank zilikuwezesha za kufungua hii bar? Ah, hizo pesa zinuwezesha kufungua bar na zilisimamiria biashara zangu zote kwa sababu sasa ziko unajua bank kufanya miaka 17 hiyo pesa nilipewa haikuwa kidogo vile sasa ndio nilianza sasa kufanya biashara kutoka hapa. Biashara ya bar sasa ilikuwa aje sasa hawa ni walevi a new dimension altogether. Sasa hiyo na ilikuwa aje and how long did you take it? Uh, biashara ya ba ilikuwa ni 
ilikuwa ni biashara nyingine okay kwa sababu wakati ni kwa kijana kidogo nilikuwa na enjoy biashara kwa sababu ya kwanza wakati huo sikuwa nimeokoka nilikuwa na kunywaga kwa hivyo nilikuwa na enjoy hiyo kazi haba at the same time it was uh, i was getting good money in it because one one being the best uh, bar in the constituency you can see how busy it was and the more busy it was the more i was earning yes. so that's how i started the bar. who was managing the bar uh the man who was managing the bar actually was a niece of mine and uh, he's still there and uh, out of that bar that guy also stood her life from that bar uh amejiweka vizuri amepata mali yake through that bar na he's still there sa hizi hizi biashara zingine za mtumba na kinyozi zilikuwa bado zaendelea okay kwa sababu nilikuelezea ile hall ilikuwa ya, ya nini ya, ya video show nilimaliza sasa na alafu nikaona vile vile attention ya bar iko naka, iko mingi ilibidi nimalize hiyo na baba shop kwa sababu vitu kama baba shop ilikuwa na nne hata vinyozi ilikuwa na nne by the way baba shop was very interesting kwa sababu nilikuwa na nyoa watu wakubwa sana Seruf Nasir nilikuwa na munyoaga by then alikuwa ni minister of culture and social services alikuwa na kaaga pa varia kid hasa kuja kuona watu wa mpira hapa alikuwa anakuja kwangu na munyoa Alfred Sambu vile vile alikuwa na munyoa na wakati huo alikuwa alipaka 1000 by the way kilipo 1000 hiyo ilikuwa ni mshahara karibu ya watu wote kwa kwa kwa, 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 kwa kinyozi kwa hivyo uh, kutoka hapo sasa ndio nilimaliza hizo vinyozi sasa nikabaki na video nilikuwa na moja muslim moja kawangware moja 46 moja 56 hata ya 56 wa saa hizi bado ndio ilibaki na huyo mwenzangu ule anilimpatia kwa hivyo hapo ndivyo nilifika na upande wa wa, wa, wa hizo lakini vile vile nilikuwa na very interesting story ya, ya club kwa sababu wakati nilifunga club nilifunga ndio wokovu wangu ulikuja Aya. kabla yako kufunga uh, club umetueleza ulikuwa na ulikuwa umenoga sana katika biashara kama una vinyozi vinne ma video shop uh, video shows ndio hizo ziko zimenoga Bi, uh, club nayo inaingisha 30000 a month wewe sasa ulikuwa tajiri kawangore wa, tajiri wa kujulikana sasa biashara ya bar ilikuwaje tueleze kwa sababu sasa hizi hiyo imeteka tension sana ilikuwaje ilikuwa mna manager aje uh, kama kulikuwa na vita kwa bar Tueleza tu venye hiyo biashara ilikuwa. Ah uh, biashara ya, ya ba ilikuwa ni challenging kabisa kwa sababu biashara ya kwanza ya ba lazima ujitolee. Na kujitolea unajitolea hadi kifamilia kwa sababu unajua lazima bwana Junge uchelewe. Na lazima vile vile uwe na marafiki. Na vile vile usipokunywa au marafiki hawezi kuja kwako. Kwa hivyo lazima wewe ukunywe. Tulikuwa tuna manage mimi na na na, 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 niz, na nisi wangu. Mimi ndio nilikuwa director mdogo wangu. Hatuko na watu wengine. Na vile vile club ni, ni biashara nyingine ambayo saa zote lazima uwe na rekodi kwa polisi kwa sababu vita. Uwe puki. Lakini kuna kitu kimoja ambacho Mungu alinisaidia sana kwa kwa club. Mimi sikuwa na bouncer yote. By the way mimi ndio nilikuwa na bouncer kwa club yangu na nilikuwa najulikana sana kwa sababu yani i was a real fighter in that club that by then mm-hmm. kwa sababu naweza kumbuka nilikuwa nashikaka crit 12 kama zinajaa hapo ambaye naambia wanaume ule mtu ainua hata inua hizo zipeleke store tutamtulia chupatano na kuna mtu anayekuwa anawezaaga i was the storeman mm-hmm. and the same time i was the manager mm-hmm. kwa sababu lazima nao vile vile unge keep fit ndivyo uweze ku, 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 ku nini uwezane na vile vile lazima uwe fighter ukiwa kwa club mm-hmm kwa sababu sipokuwa fighter watu hata watu utakuwa kitoroka wakati customer wako wanapigwa watu walikuwa mapenda kwangu sana kwa sababu walikuwa najiwaga nikifika tu kwa mwangi sitachogozwa na mtu nikifika kwa fulani sikuachogozwa kwa hivyo si acha ina challenge kuna challenge kubwa sana uh, kwa hivyo wewe kutoka mwanzo pale ulikuwa mtu mkubwa mtu ambaye anaogofia uh, sawa tueleze sasa umekuja sasa umeokoka nini kilichangia sasa uokoke na ufunge club uh, Wacha ni kuambie bwana Junge kuokoka kwangu naweza kumbuka kabisa kabisa kuna pasta moja alikuwa anakujaga kwangu tulikuwa na rafiki na yeye na huyo pasta alikuwa na kuna kati aliniuliza siku moja akaniambia mzee Mwangi mimi kati ya watu wote sijui kwa nini nafanya kazi kwako kwa sababu mimi ni pasta 
na hakuna pale nafanyaga kazi kwako lakini sijui kwa nini nakuja kufanya kazi kwako akaniambia we nafikiria siku moja utaokoka nikamwambia we, wewe siku moja itafika niokoke na utasuhudia actually uh, ile kitu nilifanya niokoke saa zote nikilewa ni kwa nahubiri saa zingine huku maanisha ni kwa na roho kwangu nikishalewa ilifika wakati siku moja that's a very interesting area kwangu chini kulikuwa chips juu ni club na chini ni club vile vile bibi yangu alikuwa anafanya hoteli ana manage butchery ana manage hotel sasa siku moja by the way it was it was one it was on 25th kutokana na December 25th siku moja mfanyikazi wangu kwa sababu chakula order ilikuwa inatikana mingi sana uh, akirusha chips hivi ikapiga chini mafuta ikaruka juu naona nyumba inabaya inapigwa chips mafuta inajaga huko ikashika moto kushika moto alijaribu kuzima alikuwa tu watano kwa, kwa, kwa hoteli wakajaribu wakashindwa wakaita askari wakajaribu wakashindwa Waka... sasa mimi nikiwa huko juu na manager huko juu nasikia tu mahara moshi zinakuja nikashindwa kwa nini kutamka chuu ndio wao wanakuja kume kume patwa moto moto imeungua huko chini mimi mwenyewe nikaingia he nikaona frames zinawaka nikaingia wakati niko tayari kuingia nikashikwa mashati ni nikaingia nikawaacha na shati peke yake nikamwambia reteni maji kani maji niliza mimi hiyo moto peke yangu moto ambayo ilijaribiwa na wanaume sita wakashindwa nikaizima peke yangu nikaenda kwa zile vitu zinapika ka chips unajua chips zinakuwa iko injected hizi 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 warmers kwa moto nikazitoa hivi hizi banners nikazitoa kwa, kwa nini na nikazi vile nizima hiyo moto sijui wakati nilitoka at spoko tu ni rubbers zilikuwa zimechomeka chini na hizo vitu za nene hizi 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 banners hizi coils zilikuwa zimejichora mkono kujichora sio kuchomeka kujichora nikamwambia mimi sijaungwa hiyo kitu ni, ni, kila mtu alishangaa wakati nafanya hivyo watu wote wametoka club kwa sababu naambiwa club inaungwa wote wako chini sasa hapa ndio wokovu wangu ulianzia sasa mimi nikiwa peke yangu nikaenda kwa, kwa ofisi nikanyamaza nikanyamaza nikaitisha Richard nilikuwa napendelea kunywa hizi pombe kali kali kuitisha Richard kwa kwa glass mimi kijaribu kuonja hivi naona frames kae kachini kafikiria am i confused ama nime nime chapa kichwa ama ni nini <laughs> nikajaribu tena nikaona frames nikaona hapana nikaita Uh, assistant wangu nikamwambia ibusi mama hapo uone kama utaona ile kitu mimi naona akaniambia kwa naona nini mzee umelewa nikamwambia hapana mimi najaribu kushika glass naona frames nikashika nikicha kuweka hivi naona frames ye yeah, haoni lakini mimi naona kaniambia hapana mzee fanya hivi na nyumbani uli relax kwanza kwa sababu ya moto then you tell me tomorrow si mimi nikaenda nyumbani before ingeni nikakuja kaenda kwa ofisi kama afanya hesabu yangu kila saa nikifanya hesabu obviously kuna nafanya hesabu na pombe lazima ningekunywa kwanza hiyo ni kitu ya kawaida lazima ukunywe kwanza ndio uanze club hakuna mtu anaanza kazi bila kukunywa kama ni unauza kwa pombe ndio ufunguke akili ana kichwa ndio ana tunaonanga vijana ulikuwa addict kama kwa sababu tunaonanga vijana saa zingine unasema mtu tu anatetemeka lakini akishika ndio anaweza kufanya kazi hata hizi kazi za mjengo lazima washike ulikuwa kwa ni addict ama hivyo ndio kunaendanga hivyo ndio mwili huwa inaitisha ah, ah, unajua ukishazoea unakuwa addict sasa lazima itishe okay. lazima ufungue kutoa lock okay. unajua kutoa lock asubuhi yeah. yeah. sasa mimi nikikuja kutoa lock nikaona frame tena sasa nikasema no 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 now this one is not the same thing again it's real nikaacha 26 27 kulikuwa ni wakati kibaki kulikuwa wakati kibaki anachaguliwa it was election time so the same that day about erabai kibaki alikuwa anachaguliwa i had bought 150 crates and i was sure zitaisha zote So sisi tukaanza kasi kulikuwa kumejaa. Hakuna mtu hangesherekea pale bila kusherekea bila kuja heroes. Lazima angekuja heroes watu wote. Gari hata hiyo historia yangu hakuna mtu washavunja hata wale kuuza pombe. Hata inajulikana. So 
Uh, wakati tukiendelea kuuza usiku mimi nikaambia nikajua nikikunya ofisi naona frame sikienda kwa machali rafiki zangu kunya usizioni sasa nikaenda kwa marafiki zangu rafiki tukakunya 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 nikaambiwa pesa zimetosha zizi zimetosha ilikuwa ikifika 1000 1000 kumi naambiwa kuja uchukue weka kwa ofisi nikaitwa kwa kwa ofisi kufungua tu hivi sasa hapo ndio niliona maajabu sasa sio kukunywa nikakuta ofisi yangu yote naona tu frames tupu mwanajunga ile mambo ilinipata siku hiyo ilikuwa maajabu sana kwa sababu nilitoka peke yangu watu walikuwa najuaga kwa sababu so furious nikilewa kuna fimbo lilikuwa limebeba fimbo kubwa sana nikaichukua watu walikuwa wanaona nikijua walikuwa wanaona mzee akichukua hii fimbo ni kubaya nilikuja nikagonga meza nikaambia watu kuanzia tokeni na mtu ule hajalipa asilipe na ile mtu na asibebe na nataka kila mtu atoke nje na muende kabisa nimefunga club sasa uh, he sasa saa hii watu wanakunywa watu wanasherehekea kwa sababu hiyo ni mwaka wa tuo tu kibaki sasa amekuwa president na wanasherehekea kwa sababu ya ushindi hmm. wewe usiku umeingia ofisi umeona moto umechukua fimbo umekuja umegongesha na ukaambia watu wote watoke na watu wote wanakuogopa wewe ni mtu mkubwa hmm. watu sasa ni kuanza kukimbia eh yeah. sasa watu ni kuanza kukimbia kwa sababu walikuwa wanaona nikitoa hiyo fimbo yeah. ilikuwa nitakuwa matahiko hmm. fimbo zile kubwa sana wakiwa nikichukua fimbo nikutoka tu walitoka kwa sababu naye unajua uh, uchaguzi unajua watu wanagojaga hadi saa kumi, saa nane usiku hizo through kwa hivyo ilikuwa kitu kimoza kitu kama saa nane uvu ya usiku wa na watu wako wa wengi vile sana kwa sababu watu walikuwa wakati walikuwa naona kibaki anashinda wengi walienda kulala sasa wakati waliona hivyo watu wengi kutoroka alitoroka wakaendeleza peke yangu na wafanyakazi sasa nikakuja nikaambia wafanyakazi sasa mnajua nini eh mimi club nimefungwa kila mtu aende nyumbani na msiingie hapa hata kesho msiingie mimi nikafunga club kuna rafiki yangu sana ambaye atuko tunachaga akaona mimi kama nimeruka nime kichwa kaniambia pana mzee mimi sitakuacha tutaenda naye hadi kwa bibi yako. Kamwambia hivyo umeona nimefanya ndivyo iko. Tukaenda. Mimi ndio huyo. Kafika nyumbani mama akashindwa kwa nini leo nimekuja na mgeni. Kamwambia mave unajuaje? Mimi nimefunga club. Na sitafungua tena na nimeonyesha hiyo club itakuwa kanisa. Na nimefunga. Kuna kitu bibi yangu aliniambia ambao hata sasa namkumbusha aliniambia. Oh ye umefunga club watoto wako shule patakula nini na sisi tutatutakaje nikamwambia ukumbuke hiyo club yetu tulianza ikiwa kidogo 10 by 10 hatumemaliza ikiwa ya gorofa nikamwambia huyo Mungu alitufikisha hapo ndio atafanya nini atajua kule tutaenda lakini kazi ya club nimeoacha na nimeokoka na mimi sita rudi kukunywa pombe tena wala sitafungua baada sasa ni kama sasa uh, mwelekeo wako wa kimaisha umebadilika kutoka sasa hapo Uh, umefunga klabu the next day siku zilizofuata ulifanya nini tena kwa sababu sasa ni kama biashara zako ni kama zilikuwa zote zaegemea kwa klabu na sasa zimeisha so umeanza utaanza wapi tena ah uh, wanajunga hiyo swali nzuri sana kwa sababu wakati nilifunga mimi nilienda kwangu waidhaka niko na plot waidhaka ndiko naishi kwa katu nikakaa huko siku na siku naenda hata kidogo siku natoka hata kwa nyumba hata kidogo kwa sababu lazima unajua mawazo fikira nini ilikuwa tu nakaa nyumbani naweza kumbuka tarehe 30 na moja makastoma wangu wote walifuatana walikuja tarehe walikuja tarehe 30 gari zilipanga line hadi waidhaka mzee unajuaje sisi tumezoea club yako na lazima tuvukishe mwaka heroes kwa hivyo tumekuja kukuchukua nikawaambia sikizeni nyinyi mumekosea mimi nimeokoka na mambo ya pombe mimi stack na sitafungua na sitaenda. Ah watu walitulikaa nao almost four hours wakini convince nikamwambia stack. Actually niliwaeleza hiyo club mnaona hapo it will be a church. Na wacha nikwambie kitu ya kitu ya, ya, ya majabu it became a church. But before a church there was also another testimony. Nilipigia KBL lazima East African Bulwaris. Razima gari ikikuja kumwaga pombe inapita duka zo, kutoka Nairobi. Stage ya kwanza ilikuwa Heroes. Hakuna mtu mwingine angeuzwa pombe kabla mimi sijauzwa. Nilipigia manager kamwambia unajua nini? Mimi niko na crate kuanzia 
Kretz, nataka kuja uzichukue sababu nimefunga club. Akaniambia unajua nini? Kibaki alishinda pombe zote zile kunyula na zile ziko kwa store. Wewe kwa hivyo utafungua tu wana wazifagiriwe. Nikamwambia unajua nini? Wokovu iko ndani yangu. Hata moja stayu isitafanya nini? Sitauza. Mane jiwa njolifanya njolifanyaji, alipigia watu wa mabawa wata kawangwara kwa mbibia hapa kuna mjinga mwingine mefinga club. Na kwa sababu wa tuleti pombe huko, nyedeni mununue kwa ke. Masa watu wakasanya na wanye vilabu, kwa sababu wakuna pombe, pombe liisha. Kwa sababu ya ushindi wa kibaki, hakuna no delivery, no, no delivery, kukuja. Kukuja, nikawambia ya sinisuwezi muuzia. Kwa sababu wata kani kiuza, wenye kreti wanachukua. Kapigia manager, kaniambia mita. Akaniambia misi ya amini wewe vila niambia wacha nikuje. Alikuja hadi hapo. Aka shuhudia. Nika uza pombe yao yote. Nika mambia uze misi taki kushika pombe. Aka wauzia. Aka nipatia pesa. Tuka hesabu kretz. Aka chukua. Aka peleka. Hasa kutoka hapo ndi wakufu wangu uriingilia. Sasa ulianza tena waje sasa. Uh, wokovu ama biashara tena sasa biashara kwa sababu sasa biashara ulikuwa wewe mtu ambaye umezoea biashara mm. umefu uli uli ulijiuzuru pale kwa bank alafu sasa biashara ya club ndio hiyo ume, umetoa fimbo imeisha watu wamekuja umeambia umeokoka ile mm. BL ni kama wame, wame, ile kandarasi mlikuwa nao ni kama imekatizwa sasa ni kama uko na sasa ni wokovu hauwezi irudia kwa biashara hizi Sasa ume utaanzaji sasa biashara. Uh, biashara wache kumambia ndiyo ni kuja kugundua mungu anajuaga mtu wake. Na mungu anajuaga historia yako. Na mungu wakikufanya ufanya kitu anajuaga. Kwa sababu wakati nilifunga yu club. Nilitua nika husudia usu, kanisa mingi sana. Hata muslim. Unawe muslim hapa? Iyo msikiti. Huko huko tu warienda na tukaongea kuhusu mambo ya club kwa sababu nilikuwa nimeharibu watoto wengi sana wa muslim. Sasa Mungu akitaka kukutumia anajua kule atakupeleka kwa sababu wakati nilifunga tu nilikaa. Nikaacha nikabakisha hoteli. Sasa mimi nilikuwa nakujaga tunakaa na mama na bibi yangu hapo. Na pool table hata nisa kumbuka customer moja alikuja akaniambia akalikuja tu alinizungumzia vibaya sana aliniambia mwangi acha nitumie kikuyu kidogo. Wahiga biashara eno nene yogo mwenda gia chips na mkagu haha. Yaani umefunga <laughs> Mifunga hibi ya shareote kubwa hivi uzake chips hapa. Nika mbia wewe wachana na mimi. Haza kukaka hivi kidogo mimi nikafikiria basa. Hapa tafanyaji. Kwa sababu mimi kuna kisima, nikuwa mejenga kisima. Nika anza kaosh. Kweza kaosh. Na hafu nika, 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 nika weka pump ya diesel. Hiyo ndio biya shareangu ya kwanza. Sasa kaosh vile vile mindi onelizia kaosh kwa wangwari. Nika anza kuosha mbagari. Kaosha mbagari, kaosha mbagari. Na ziosha. Na, na, uh, naziweka diesel, naosha naweka diesel Hasa kulifika wakati ambapo uh, Serikari sema, ili sema pampu zitolewe Na watu watu wale kwenye wako kwenye nyo nyo za steam watoke wa Nika zitoa Sasa wakati niacha yu biyashara ya nini tena ya, 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 ya mafuta Diyo nikaanza, nikafikiri ya kufungua supermarket Hile pesa nikuwa nazo, nikauza pampu, hizi zote mbili Nika changanya, nasa nikaanza kufungua Supermarket. Sasa umefungua, biash, uh, umefungua supermarket. Na sasa supermarket sasa muliendelea jena supermarket. Uh, supermarket haikuwa mbaya kwa sababu 46. Mule mtu tuwa likuwa mefungua supermarket hapa ni PBK. Supermarket enye ilikuwa na ituaje? Heshima supermarket. Na wakati niliendesha kazi ya biashara, wakati kutu lakuambia kulikuwa mimi uh, na unika na PBK. Sasa mili kwa katikati yao. Sasa ndivu watu kaendelea na biyashara ya saiku mbaya kwa sababu ule ya kumbali na ule ya kumbali. Lakini midi titi kuna mtu mwingine alikuja. Unajua wezi kaa on, on, ugua peke yako. Midi titi kuka kukujia supermarket ingine karibu na mime hapo. Waka, waka fungua. Masa ye kufungua. Ni wale watu wanafungua wakiwa nania kukumaliza. Kwa sababu wali kwa taka wane wake kukuona raini wewe umeisha. Ndivu walifanya kwa sababu wali kwa nauzaga unga kama unga bila 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 faida yote anarudisha pesa kwa pesa sasa watu wakaanza kutoka kwangu tanza kutoka kwangu nikajiuliza hai hey, hii biashara nayo ni inaendeleaje nika notice uzuri wangu Mungu alikuwa ananionyeshaga haraka sana sasa mimi nikakaa nikajiuliza hii biashara haifanyi vizuri itafanya nini all at once kafikiria ku, kuanza kuuza gas mimi ndio mtu bado wa kwanza kuuza gas kawangore mimi nikaanza kuleta gas 
nika, nilianza kidogo tu kwa sababu nilikuwa na pickup moja nikaanza nikaleta 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 nikaona hiyo biashara ina pick nikanunua kanta kunua kanta nikaanza kuzungusha sasa mimi nishazunguza gas huko nikazunguza nikazungusha kukaka kidogo mimi nikaona watu wameanza kutenda kwa kuingilia hiyo biashara but I've already mean kwa already niko na message zangu hiyo biashara nikaanza nikaacha okay sikuacha niacha okay, niliacha kidogo ya kusavu watu wa ile yangu lakini sasa kudistribusha ship na nini kaacha immediately kuacha ndipo nilifikiria what else to do uh, nikafikiria mimi nilikuwa ga customer wa, wa equity bank na wacha kuambia mtu wa Mungu ni wa Mungu ndugu yangu mimi nilikuwa nachaka hii kazi Mungu anakanionyesha hii kwa sababu mimi ndio pioneer wa kuanzisha equity agent kawangware equity cooperative na mpesa mimi ndio mimi ndio pioneer na naweza kumbuka vizuri kabisa wakati tulianzisha unajua hii mambo ya kitu kama mpesa na equity ili ili ili, kwa, ili hit internationally kwa sababu hata Americans walikuwa na shindwa how does uh, Mpesa work how does equity bank works unajua walituma representative wao naweza kumbuka sana nikiitwa equity nikaambia una wageni siku fulani kwa sababu I was the pioneer so I was holding delegation from America Britain Nigeria wote kwa hapa sasa walikuwa nakuja kwa duka yako kujisomea eh ni wasome wende Mpesa zinafanya kazi namna gani hii agency zinafanya kazi namna gani I was the only one so I featured it was a very interesting time for me because the Americans British na Nigerians there were around five countries wamba hii hii biashara ya Mpesa equity agent cooperative ilikuwa wapi ah uh, hii ya kwanza kabisa ilikuwa pale Fort Scabbe kwa supermarket kwa sababu nilikuwa nilisikanisha na supermarket nikaanzisha hiyo nikaona inashika vizuri nikakuja sokoni kwa sababu sokoni ni kwangu plot nikaweka nikaweka nyingine kadhuru road nilikuwa na tatu eh hizo biashara zote za Mpesa kwa zilikuwa zinaleta pesa ukijumlisha zote average ilikuwa faida ya pesa ngapi kwa mwezi uh, kama sasa uh, float ile nilikuwa natumia wakati huo ilikuwa ni 1 million na out of 1 million nilikuwa napataga kitu kama 1100 sasa zingine ite kuendelea hivyo sasa hii yote ni faida yeah ilikuwa ni faida wewe ulikuwa na float kwa hizo maduka tatu ulikuwa na float ya 1 million yes unazizungusha unajua by then 1 million bado ilikuwa ni pesa yes. sababu ziko tatu une, uneka 35 30 30 ilikuwa ni pesa mingi by then Aya, sasa biashara sasa umekuja hata wewe umekuwa umekuwa celeb kwa wangwara juu uko na ma, wageni wengi wanakukuja na wewe ndio pioneer wa hizi biashara ziliendaje na tena biashara nyingine ilikuwa gani uh, agency wakati niliona imeenea sana na sio kuenea kubaya kwa sababu mimi ndiyo nilitumiwa na agency hiyo kuitukupatia watu laini za agency. Agency zote karibu zote za sokoni ni mimi nimezipeana. Na wakati equity waliniambia kwa sababu niliwaambia nitakumaliza hii kazi waliniambia kama nataka kumaliza kazi uh, tutakupatia kazi ya kufanya nini? Ya kutrain watu na vile vile kuwapatia line. So I also made uh, money on that kwa sababu me was getting free, me was selling to them. Na sio pesa kidogo. I have made money. When I realized this imekuwa mingi sana nika nikaacha mambo sasa ya nini nikaacha mambo ya agency sasa sasa kutoka kwa agency ndio sasa nikakuja kufungua furniture na furniture tuseme ni biashara nyingine vile vile imenepeleka vizuri kwa sababu ile furniture nilikuwa natengenezaga mafundi wangu wako watu wako train kutoka Egypt by the way wanajua mimi nishatengenezea hata rais 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 kiti koja uh, sasa tunaongea kuhusu biashara ya furniture ambayo iko Kawangwari mm. na unasema mafundi wako wanatoka Egypt aje walikuwa trained Egypt walikuwa trained Egypt alafu wakakuja Kenya yes na, sa, na sasa hao mafundi ambao wametrainiwa Egypt na mtu anajua mimi niko na training ya Egypt utaweza kumlipa Waje kuambia kitu kimoja 
hawa watu walikuwa ni waislamu na funny thing hawa waislamu hangetengenezea mkristo vitu lakini uh, ilifanyika hivi mimi nilikuwa natununua gaziro ametengeneza na kuja naongeza pesa na ziuza na kuja naongeza pesa na ziuza sasa wakati nilifunga nilifunga hiyo uh, biashara ya nini ya mwisho nilikuwa na pesa mingi sana ya supermarkets nikaenda nikawaeleza badala hizi viti mimi ningetaka kutengeneza viti kwa kazi nataka kufungua nataka kutengeneza viti dharavini na kitu kashindo mtu anataka kufanya kazi ya dharavini na kitu sasa hawa wani wa islam wakasema hii hatuwezi tengenezea hapa hii tunataka iwe deal yetu na wewe kuliko iwe ya kampa tunakuja kutengenezea nini sandes sasa hivyo tulifanya huko nafanya walikuwa tengeneza hadi usiku usiku na mchana hasa hapo ndio nianza kupata designs zingine ambazo haziko kwenye hazina watu viti zingine hazina watu Kenya hii And that... na, na ilikujaje ukamtengenezea tueleza ilikujaje ukamtengenezea rais kiti ilifanyika hivi eh, nilikuja kundua katika kampani zote kuna presidential seats hasa ilikuwa wakati unakaribiwa na Nairobi show kuna rafiki yangu mmoja alikuwa anafanya na KTDA hasa watu wa KTDA wakaona kiti yao imechapa sasa wakaambia waende wafanye watafute quotation kule naweza pata kiti kizuri. Hasa ujamaa niletea watu wa ofisi kwa ofisi ni mwangu. Wakaniambia tutataka kuona catalog yako ama picha zako zote za viti tukaonyesha. Alafu sasa ndio wakaniambia tutataka hii kiti. Na hii kiti tutataka kutengeneza vizuri sana kwa sababu president akikuja uh, KTD office hapa na Robi show ndio atakalia a sign ya kwamba amepita kwa KTDA na ame na amepitisha na amesign na amefika na na zile vitu ameona sasa mimi nikutengeneza kiti nilitoa ile kitu vile tu walikuwa nataka na warefry nilitengeneza na, na sasa okay sasa after sasa hapo umeendesha biashara ya viti ya disco gani biashara ya viti hata wale hata wale bado naitengeneza sijaimaliza niko naye hata wa sasa kwa sababu sio biashara mbaya kwa sababu Uh, ya kwanza ile vitu natengeneza is not competitive na mtu ya pili sio kitu naweza oza ya tatu ni design hata ku manage unaweza miezi tatu na ujue kupaka kuna kiti na kitanda na nini kwa hivyo hata leo bado na naiendesha na, na, na biashara ya furniture kando na biashara ya furniture kuna biashara zingine ambazo umezianza eh mimi ni mtu wa biashara kutoka zamani kuna kitu kimoja na na mimi na Mungu amenibariki uh, kubadilisha biashara <laughs> na hata wa leo nafikiria kubadilisha biashara hata tuko nayo saa hizi nafikiria kwa sababu wakati nilifungua biashara nilifikiria vile vile nikafikiria hapa 46 niko na tenancy nikafikiria katika forti kaangwale yote hakuna guest house nyingine ni moja tu bora bora kwa hivyo huyu jamaa is uncompetitable nikafikiria wacha nitengeneze guest house hata mimi kama eh na nikaenda nikakuta guest house kwa sababu hizo alikuwa peke yake kwenye hiyo biashara alikuwa tengeneza nyumba za bekali sasa nikakuja na halfway ya biashara zake nikafungua guest house na hiyo guest house ile perform vizuri haiku perform vibaya kwa sababu imenipatia mapenzi hata nikafikiria kutoa tenants wengine sokoni nikatoa hao tenants wa sokoni vile vile huko nikaweka guest house nyingine sasa madhe, bibi yangu anaangalia furniture na anaangalia hizo guest house nyingine nami naangalia huko huko ndio sokoni vile vile si kuweka tu hiyo biashara peke yake nilikuja nikaona hii plot yangu si inashikana na soko eh hawa tu wa soko hicho yao ni ile yao ya simu ile ya zamani na maintain vizuri nikakuja katengeneza cho nzuri mingi na bafu nzuri sasa hiyo ni nia yangu hasa haikuwa watu wa soko ilikuwa kusafu tena nani customer wangu wa, wa nani wa guest house but immediately wakati wali, watu wa soko walijua kuna choo zimetengenezwa hapo na ni nzuri wakaanza kuhama immediately choo ya soko kukanyesha ni ile ya matope ikaanguka 
Niki mungu mungu kutu kanguka. Wakatangaza sasa kuanzia sasa. Nyingu kutu kumukenda socho wabi. Next plot. Sasa hapo ndio nianza hiyo biashara ya cho. Nikaona hapana aki na mama. Lazima wanataka kapari ya kuenda tumere go round. Nikafikiria kaona hapana. Wacha ni watengenezee nini? Tu ofisi huku. Nika watengenezea tu ofisi. Sasa wanatoka meri, wanakuja meri go round. Wanakuja wanaoga. Wanakuja kwa cho. Uh, tuseme mungu vile alinif, alinifanya nifungue klabu nikuja kugundua alikuwa na plan na mimi na hizo plan ndivo sasa amenifikisha hapo nimefika na mimi najua nidiacha pesa ndiyo ni mtumkie mungu kwa hiyo klabu na mimi najua naenda mbali wana karo she is an intercessor my first daughter Ameniombea alikuwa ananiombea sana kwa sababu wako ampenda hiyo maisha yangu ya kuja nilikuwa mlevi saa zingine na wafuruga saa zingine na kuja kama siku mbili sionekanagi na wakati nilimaliza niliacha pomo nikaokoka refurai sana so immediately kitu ya kwanza nilikuja ku uh, ni mapenzi ya nyumbani ilirudi ili ya pili also uh, my peace in me ilirudi ya tatu ni health I'm sure uh, at now I'm 61. Now by that age, kama ninge kwa nende na pombe, actually ninge kwa nimechia patiari. Kwa sana juu pombe wa mwaka inaribu mwili, ina, inaribu damu, na mutu uze kaga haraka sana. Na hata wacha kuweleze, hata vile vile mutu uendaga mapema sana kwa sababu ya pombe. Ya tatu, kuna kitu kimoja bwana yunge neza kuwelezea. Nirithania ati pesa lazima zitoke kwa club nilikuja kugundua kwa Mungu kuna zile pesa genuine na zile zimebarikiwa kwa sababu gani uh, kutoka nitoke club naishi nyumba nzuri naendesha gari nzuri na la vizuri na na nafanya mambo hata properties nimenunua nyingi kushinda wakati wakati ile nilikuwa na club na biashara hizo zingine kwa hivyo Biashara ukovuni upotezi, ukovuni una, unapata baraka. Na... Tueleze, tueleze. Uh, ni jambo ngumu, lakini nitakuuliza bado. Kuna watu ambao wanafungua biashara za klabu na wamenoga sana, wanaendelea vizuri, wanatajika wana sana, wakona mali nyingi. Uh, wewe kama na, na umetsema hapo kidogo awali umesema ulitoa msikitini kwa sababu ulikuwa na haribu watoto wa wenyewe hii biashara ya club sana sana hii biashara mibi ya kuuza bangi biashara ya kuuza vileo hiyo ni pombe biashara ya kuuza vitu ambavyo hazifai uh, kwanza za haribu watoto sana sana watoto wa wenyewe wa mama za watu waionaje wa na wewe unge, unge, unge advice watu waje kuhusu hiyo biashara ah uh, wacha ni kueleze kwanza kama biashara ya pombe biashara ya pombe kwa sababu nishajua na hata madistributor watu wengi huaga inalaana na hiyo ni kitu hiko 